Ramok Enterprises was a former NASCA Winston Cup team that operated from 1978 to 1993. The team was owned by longtime engine builder Bob Rahilly and Butch Mock. Mock left Ramok in 1993 to form his own team. Ramok Enterprises is still operating today, with Dick and Bob Rahilly still turning the wrenches as an engine builder and supplier for many NASCAR teams. They also build Rasikas and manage several smaller race teams. Ramok's debut in NASCAR came in 1978 at the Napa National 500. Mock drove the number 75 Chevrolet to a 26th place finish. He also ran the Dixie 500, finishing 24th. Mock ran the Daytona 500 the next year, but finished 35th when he was involved in a wreck, not of his making early in the race. After the Daytona wreck, Ramok had several different drivers. Some were Lenny Pond at Atlanta and at owner, Bobby Brack at Charlotte, finishing 35th, and Bill Elswick for numerous races, his best finish being 16th at Richmond. Harry Gant drove in 1980 for the team at Riverside International Raceway, finishing 12th and Texas World Speedway, finishing 10th. Elswick returned over the next 11 races and the team also picked up sponsorship from Performer Boats, before he was released. Gant returned for the next two races, before the team switched to part-time. John Anderson, Chuck Bowen, Joe Milliken, and Elswick finished out the year. Milliken came back in 1981, but once again was released after the Gabriel 400. Elswick took over at Datona before running with Gary Ballow and Tim Richmond for the rest of the season. Ballow returned in 1982, posting a top 10 at the Coca-Cola 500, but was released after just five races. Joe Rutman took over for most of the rest of the season, posting for top fives before being replaced at Riverside by Jimmy Insulo. In 1983, Ramok signed Neil Bonnet to drive their Hodgson Chevy, Bonnet picked up wins at the World 600 and the Atlanta Journal 500. He finished fourth in points that year. After that year, longtime independent Dave Marsis was named driver and had nine top tens and a 13th place in points. Subsequently, Lake Speed took over in 1985, finished second in the Daytona 500, and had a 10th place finish in points. Speed had two 10th place finishes in 1986 but was released after just four aces in favor of Jody Ridley. Ridley had one top ten, before moving on after ten races. Jim Sorter had four starts, before Morgan Shepard took over for the balance of the season, posting two top tens. In 1987, Bonnet returned with Valvo Line as sponsor of Ramox Pontiacs. Bonnet had 15 top tens, and was on his way to a top ten points run when he broke his hip in a crash at the Oakwood Homes 500. Rutman returned to the team, to finish the season for the team. Bonnet returned in 1988, and won two of the first three races. But eventually, he began to have health issues fall off the pace, and left Ramok at the end of the season. In February 1988, Ramok and Bonnet took their Valvo line sponsored Pontiac Grand Prix to Melbourne, Australia for an exhibition race, where they were the winners of the first ever NASCAR race run outside of North America, the Goodyear NASCAR 500 at the Calder Park Thunderdome. As the race took part in Australia, where they used the metric system, it was run over 500 kilometers, rather than NASCAR's normal 500 miles. It took place on February the 28th just one week after Bonnet and the team had won the Pontiac Excitement 400 at the Richmond International Raceway. Bonnet led home fellow Alabama gang member Bobby Allison in a Buick Lesseba, and Dave Marsis driving a Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Upon returning to America, Bonnet would go on to win his third race in as many weeks, when he won the next Winston Cup Series race, the Goodwrench 400 at Rockingham. Shepard who had filled in for Bonnet twice in 1988, took over the team full-time in 1989. He garnered one pole and 13 top tens. After leaving for Bud Moore Engineering for 1990, Rick Wilson joined the team, which switched to Oldsmobile, 
and with sponsorship from Food Lions slashed in a bell dog food. Wilson struggled heavily in his tenure, and left after just one year with the team. In 1991, Rutman replaced Wilson. He finished third in the Daytona 500, and had four top ten finishes and finished 20th in points. Without a sponsor for 1992, Deke Trickle drove the car in the Daytona 500, finishing fifth. After that event, team co-owner Bob Rahilly elected to retire from Winston Cup racing, and return to his roots as an engine builder slash supplier. Mock went on to form his own new team, Butch Mock Motorsports.